Cinema 5D at NAB 2017 is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilter, arm your camera. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. G-Technology, storage solutions for any stage of your workflow. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hey guys, Graham here from Cinema 5D. We are on the show floor at NAB 2017 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am here with Jason, CEO, right, of Pond5. That's right, Jason Teichman, CEO of Pond5. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, we're here today basically because of the Global Partner Program. I saw some information on that. So somehow Pond5 footage is going to be available through Adobe Stock, and I just wanted to get a sense of how that program is going to work out. Sure. You know, uh, Pond5, uh, if you kind of go back in time, Pond5's genesis was designed to make our artists successful. So when you think about how we operate the marketplace today, we share our royalties 50-50 with artists. We allow them to price stock uh, and footage however they want. Um, and the key thing that we just recently announced was the Global Partnership Program. And the Global Partnership Program was designed to really accelerate all the efforts that uh, we've been putting forth for our artists today. And the key with that is providing more distribution to our contributors. So today, going forward, when you submit to Pond5, not only will your content appear on our marketplace, but it will also appear on um, soon to be announced about a dozen or so other marketplaces and resellers. The first one that I'm most proud to announce, the inaugural partnership with Adobe. And um, what's really cool about that is, you know, Adobe, they have the, you know, they have the, the world's most utilized non-linear editing platform and contributor content will literally be at the hands of, you know, uh, millions of editors uh, and creators every single day. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, from a from a selling perspective, I sell stock on Pond5, iStock, Adobe, so so I, I get this world a little bit. Um, are you worried at all that if people are sort of going to Adobe and buying my footage, that maybe they're not going to be trafficking the Pond5 marketplace quite as much? Sure, yeah. You know, that's a great question. Uh, I think we all go about attacking the market and serving the market in a different way. You know, when you think about the types of functionality and user experience we, we provide on the Pond5 marketplace, we're really active in uh, creating a really world-class search experience. So we invest in things like search by people, number of people, find me visually similar type of collections. We'll soon to be rolling out other really cool advanced types of search functionality that you won't find anywhere else. The Adobe partnership puts our content at the hands of creators while they're in the middle of the editing process, which is a market that we don't actually touch. We're not going to build an editor. Right. So the way I view this is it makes our artists more successful. It increases distribution. And uh, I think it, so long as it's successful, successful for our artists, it works for us. Great. Well, so so how does it work? You said it's in Adobe NLEs. Can I buy, I mean, is it labeled Pond5? Do I know I'm buying a Pond5 clip in like After Effects or Premiere? Yeah, you will. The, uh, the works will be attributed initially to Pond5, and then as we work through some of the integration, uh, within about 90 days, it'll be attributed to both Pond5 as well as the original creator. Okay, and then as, as a seller, I know that you guys have a great revenue split. I mean, if you go with Pond5, it's like 50% 50, 50 goes right, yeah, goes right to the filmmaker. With Adobe, I don't remember it being quite as good. So really, as a seller, I should only be uploading clips to you, right? Because it's going to end up on Adobe. I'm just trying to get a sense of the ecosystem. Yeah, totally. So uh, what's cool about this partnership is, and everything through the Global Reseller Channel, is through one upload, and through one interface, your content will be distributed to multiple marketplaces. And we don't think anyone else has that. And you'll be able to you know, track its performance not only on Pi, but to many other locations as well. You have reporting, and it'll be our search engine that's powering all these, all these resellers and ecosystems. And the way we've negotiated these deals is, um, you know, from a royalty perspective, there is no economic benefit to going directly to the reseller versus going through our partnership. And in fact, we actually think from a time savings perspective and a ease of management, one upload, multiple places, uh, we split everything 50-50, and the way that works out is literally uh, you'll get the same revenue share if you go directly to the, to the reseller or if you go through Pond5. So from a convenience perspective, it's, it's totally in the, uh, the artist's favor to, uh, to go through us. So one of the things that, that's both exciting and maddening as a filmmaker is I'm sitting at home on the couch and I'm drinking coffee and I think, oh, you know, I should film this coffee and try to sell it as stock, right? I just don't know really what sells yeah. as stock. Can you give us some guidance maybe about things maybe that are lacking in the Pond5 marketplace you'd like to see more of? Sure, sure. So, you know, we... Um we see demand across every virtual category, and it's really hard to predict you know, exactly what's going to be hot, what's going to be not hot. We have, some, we have some things that we're tracking. I would say universally, the things that we see that tend to be the most successful are the things that are unique, that are different, that are hard to shoot. Um, what does that mean? You know, what is unique, what is different, what is hard to shoot? And the, uh, the best way to explain that is through an example. So if you go to the zoo, 
and you film a, uh, a lion in captivity, you know, roaming its cage. Not hard to shoot. Anyone can shoot it with their iPhone. Not terribly difficult. Um, what would be more unique, more difficult, would be to go find that lion in its natural habitat. That would be unique. That would be harder to shoot. What would be extremely unique and really hard to shoot would be that lion um, caring for its cubs or in the middle of a, you know, the hunt or whatever. That's really rare, really hard to shoot, really unique. And we see those are the types of clips across any category, any genre that have the highest sell through rate and command the highest prices. Um, that's, that's pretty much, I think, a global trend that we're seeing across, across all of our content categories. Beyond that, you know, if you look at just trends in the world today, you know, we see things that are a lot in demand like stay-at-home dads, moms in the workplaces, multicultural families, um, basically represent the world as it is today there are things that uh, we see our, our buyers looking for. Okay, and, and who is buying my hypothetical uh, lion uh, uh, Sierra clips here? Um, is, is it agencies you find? Is it individual people? Is it media outlets? Yeah. Our, our buyer base runs the gamut. So on one end of the spectrum, we see we have a lot of demand from your classic TV film production shots, uh, shops. You know, every film, every show, there comes a point where it's just not economical for them to film that shot. Whether it's an establishing shot, it's B-roll, uh, it's something they forgot to do, and that's where the Pond 5 collection comes into play. 7.2 million clips, we can we have what you need. Um, there, are other, there are other folks like agencies, uh, could be uh, folks that are helping out businesses with social media. It doesn't make sense to film a classic production um, for a video that's going to live on Facebook or Instagram for a couple weeks. So uh, we see a lot of demand from agencies that are using video to promote their client's brand on, on social media. And we also see video being used in internal corporate communications, uh, on websites, so it really runs the gamut. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, if I get asked one more time to film the Welcome to Los Angeles sign, yeah. you know, so I totally see it from that perspective that it would be much easier for agencies just to go to you guys and get the Welcome to LA sign, for example, Welcome yeah. to New York. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Jason, thank you so much for taking a couple minutes with us here. Enjoy the rest of your NAB. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. That's it from us here at the Pond 5 booth. Uh, stay tuned to cinema5d.com for everything from NAB 2017 from the show floor.